my name is Valentina V, and we are here at Electric Pony Studios in a thousand degree heat talking about DMX. So this is our giant warehouse and the entire shoot today is gonna to be a beautiful ballerina who is traveling from back to front and we're gonna be on Steadicam. The whole goal is to mount lights up here so that we can change the look of it, have as many different looks as possible while literally not touching the lights at all, controlling them from one single board. Here with Camilo, he's our DX board op today. And you're using an app. Yeah, I'm using the Luminera app. And right now I have a Nova here with one of my antennas, which is basically a five pin DMX antenna that sends the signal out of the light into my transmitter. So how many lights are gonna be wireless and how many lights are gonna be wired today? I'm gonna have them by section, so I'll probably have an antenna on each section. Okay and all the units that fall into the section will be hardwired to that unit. For the lighting, I want to set these lights and forget them because the DMX is going to be doing all the moving for me. So, the first thing I have these two backlights. These are two Aperture 300Ds with spotlight mounts. The spotlight mounts are really going to concentrate the light into one specific spot, kind of right here. So it'll give a really nice halo to our dancer for you know the beginning and the end of the dance. Because this warehouse has a lot of beams, this is actually really simple to rig. All you need is a C-clamp. So these lights are rigged with C-clamps to the beams and then just a C-stand arm with a head and it's rigged to the end of that arm. Of course, there are safety chains and the ballasts are rigged up there too. You can see with the ballasts that there is a DMX in and a DMX out coming out of the power box, which means that these lights are all daisy chained together. If you kind of follow the daisy chain riddle, you'll see that they will all sort of end up at those wireless receivers, and those wireless receivers are receiving the transmission from Camilo's iPad. I wanted to put up these tresses here for mainly a sense of some kind of production design. We could have rigged all these 600Ds up to the ceiling as well, but seeing this in the shot just adds a little bit to it and it is industrial looking, right? It is like metal, it's on this concrete floor. So even if we do see the unit in the shot, even if we do see the power box in the shot, that's totally fine because it's part of the aesthetic. Up here, we have in the middle of the entire warehouse, three Nova panels. These Nova panels are not only color temperature adjustable, but they're color adjustable as well. So this is where we can really play with whatever color we want, and we don't have to climb up there and change it by putting gels. The middle, the end two Novas, they also have a four by of opal underneath them. That helps soften the light and create a really nice soft top light. Generally, you don't want your top lights to be very harsh because that creates really hard under eye shadows. So putting some kind of diffusion underneath will help a lot. You can do this with a soft box or you can just rig a four by. Last but not least, we have the 300X. What I really wanted to have is some sort of traveling light, some sort of traveling key light that I could use for the very beginning of the scene before we reveal everything. So I noticed that you were telling our gaffer about putting these on certain channels. Why is that? So each channel is a function that you know we have. And so for instance, this unit would be channel 40, which means that that's gonna be the one function you unit have, they mean up and down. So it's a way of you basically assigning different functions to different units. Each one would be a part of a diagram within our 512 channel universe. So 
in this case, I guess technically you could have one unit that has the DMX like receiver on it, yeah. and then daisy chain all the units to yeah. it, right? But that's not the case here. What have we done? Uh, yeah, so I mean, I actually did something similar. So on this two, so we have two, uh, two lines of columns here of, the, of trucks. On each line, uh, my unit closest to me, I do have a receiver on it, a five pin Centena and in DMX in, and out of the DMX out, I'm going and daisy chaining to the rest of the units on that line. So I think it's important to note that uh, with DMX, you have your transmitter, which is connected to your board. Like whether it's a board or yeah. an iPad mm -hmm. with the Luminaire app, that's the transmitter. So that's sending it to a receiver, but you don't need every one of your units to have a receiver. And all of them live in the same universe. Yeah, yeah, I'm using single universe right now. Single universe. And how many, like, how many fixtures or how many channels, like how much can you load up into this universe? So each DMX universe has a, a total of 512 channels, uh, which the amount of units you could connect it will vary on different things. One would be how many units you have, what, what type of units we're using, the amount of channels that each unit requires on certain profiles. Yeah, so like, for example, the 600s. The 600D is a single color unit that takes up to five channels. One is for intensity and the other four are for effects. And because there are six of them, they will take up 30 channels within our universe. When we get into other scenarios like our NOAA P300s, they take up six channels per unit since they are full RGB lights with the ability to change intensity, color temperature, hue, saturation while using the profile number three on the panel. Each light has certain DMX profiles where you can change the function and amount of channels the light takes up in our universe. So as we're listening to the music today, um, we have divided it into chapters and he's divided it into scenes within those chapters almost like a book. And so that's how we're gonna be playing it. Okay, so we have planned, we have rehearsed. I got my comms on, farm machine going, let's go. I hope that you learned something new about DMX today. If you have any more questions about DMX, leave them in the comments below. And if you have any questions about my ballet skills, take a hike. Until next time, happy shooting and subscribe to this channel. Bye. U T I U I T U I D U S I T U S I T T DMX 512. Oh. They didn't get, they didn't get all of the stuff we need, so they're sending an Uber from the office. Steady, steady, Bay, Hi, I did ballet when I was six, you know. <laughs>